Uh, hello, Dr. Morris. I am a 20-year-old, 20 years old, wow, and three months ago I contracted genital herpes from my ex. <laughs> ex. <laughs> I would like to know if there is any hope to really getting rid of this virus. Absolutely. <clears throat> but you have to detox the body and you have to do it deeply. You have to get in and detox it deeply. I remember I had a young girl and uh, she's a pretty thing and she had gotten herpes from her boyfriend and, and I looked at her limb system and I go, Oh, I mean, her eyes were solid white, thick white. That's another one we can use. I got to remember her name, but I mean, unreal white. And, and, and that's the problem. The condition of your lymphatic system determines how long it's going to take you to get this out because this isn't a bloodborne. This this will all end up in the lymphatic system. All of this. They, that's all the virals. They go into the lymphatic system. So let me tell you, that's the system that deals with proteins and acids. And that's what virals are. And so the, these are, you know, uh, these viral loads can be high in, interstitially. And it's just that the only way to get rid of virals is detox. There's nothing you can take to kill them. You see these herbs that say they're antivirals and stuff. There really isn't anything antiviral in my opinion. And if you do any antiviral pharmaceuticals, most of them have fatal events tied to them. Dangerous. Antivirals are dangerous pharmaceuticals. They want to be real careful there. She wants to get herpes out of which I don't blame her one little bit, but you got to dig into your lymph system. So take a picture of your eyes and see what you look like because that's what you're up against. Because detox is the only way to get it. And you got to make sure you're filtering because these, these proteins come out through the kidneys. Uh, I am going to live with this issue forever, or can I do? No, you're not going to live with them forever, and I can do something about it to get rid of it completely. Now, on a raw diet, they should go dormant. Now, if you see a real bad outbreak, that's detox. That means your body's kicking. But um, proteins, here's, here's an interesting thing with herpes, and you can prove it on yourself. Go into an alkaline-forming diet, right, an alkaline-based diet. The herpes will go into dormancy. And in a lot of cases, be detoxed out, at least some of them, until you dig in deeper, of course. But put yourself on a protein diet and see what happens. Put yourself on a high protein diet to see a lot more meat and see what happens to your herpes. You'll pop sores all over the place and painful. The more acidic you are, the more sores and the more pain. Just like herpes simplex up here, same thing, same thing. You keep yourself alkaline, not a problem one. You're not going to pass nothing. Everything's good. But you invoke acidosis and pop like popcorn. Not good. And it just shows you, it just shows you what happens in acidic environments. And the difference between an acidic environment and a base environment. Hugely. And if, uh, if the, the scientific community don't get that, I don't know, I don't understand where their head is. Also, if the answer is to do a detox, what else would it be? You can't kill these. These are proteins. These aren't single-celled organisms like uh, bacterium and, and uh, fungi and stuff. Uh, uh These are not microbes. These are proteins, and everything has consciousness to them. So these are, I call them proteins with an attitude. But they come right out. We get a lot of hep C, HIV virals. We get HIV right out of people. Hep C viral loads right out of people. But if you're going to treat them, <laughs> uh, I don't want any part of that. Uh, if I if I do a detox and eat meat or any protein again just to see if the herpes is complete, oh, I would. That's a good way to tell. Get really detox deeply. Do a blood workup. See if you see any. If you don't see any, just eat the protein diet for a few days and see if you have any popping up. If not, get rid of the protein and go back to a good diet. As if it was uh, never detoxed out of the body, and all the detox did was make the virus lay dormant in my body because it high, well. <laughs> Let me say this to you. Far better, because I can speak from experience, far a uh, lots of experience, far better to have your herpes in dormancy than it is active. Let me tell you, you know, the pain, the discomfort, and all the crap that goes with that. So you might holler dormancy, but let me tell you something, you will be a lot happier than having full-blown herpes out. Not good. Uh, that's why you, there's only one way to do this. Uh, there's just nothing you can take. They claim there's antiviral herbs. They're, they're all in Parasite M and Parasite G. Oh yeah, I got antivirals. 
But if truth be known, see, truth be known, there is no true antivirals. I don't care what. And then you get pharmaceutical antivirals. They don't get rid of viruses. They might make your viral load disappear temporarily, but then, yeah. See, and they are dangerous. These are very dangerous pharmaceuticals tied to many fatal events. And that was in worst pills, best pills. Big time. Hollering down on antivirals. And the DNA made the virus go down because it hides well in the lower part of the spine. Basically, the detox only suppresses the virus. No, it doesn't. Detox alkalinity keeps things from expressing themselves. You know, it keeps from agglomeration. When you get agglomeration in an acid environment, all this stuff agglomerates, and then you see an expression of this. You see inflammation and all that coming forth. But in an alkaline medium, the body is attempting to get rid of those things it doesn't want inside. But you have to filter to do that. You have to be able to sweat. You have to be able to eliminate properly to do that. If you're not eliminating properly, then no one can bitch about it. Because that's kidney filtration. And a lot of people, I say most people, are not filtering. So they, they don't get rid of these herpes. They try to treat them. But you can't get rid of any viral load treating it. No one has. And what you have is people getting near death doing this. Uh, look at what's the two sisters and the mother had hep C. She's a real pretty woman. Now she's bloated up on steroids. I just wanted to say, hey, honey, I can fix that over, you know, and, and just like that. The Judd, uh, uh, the Judd sisters or something. They owe me Judd, something like that. Pretty, mo pretty woman. But didn't have access with all the money and all the fame, didn't have access to the truth. Interesting, huh? And that's the way it is with a lot of people. Now, here's another one going down. What's his name? Um, oh, Senator, uh, I don't know. I appreciate his war service, that's for sure, but he didn't get anything done while he was there. But he's now got brain cancer. But you can see on this left side the tumor that he's had for years. And uh, it's just a matter of time, in my opinion. Basically, the detox only suppresses the virus, and it isn't an actual cure to get rid of the virus out of the body completely. Well, you just have to keep working it and trying and working with that. That's all I can tell you. Uh, it, that's the only method you can get rid of them. Of course, it, it, uh, we've done that many a times. We've done it with HIV, like I said. We've done it with Hep C, and we wouldn't have been able to do that if it just went dormant. Yeah, but they can. They can. I'll be honest with you. They can go dormant there in an alkaline medium and not uh, raise their little head until the acidic side. So for me, I like them out of the body. There's no question, but better to have dormant than active. Just saying, it's your world. I would also like to know if, if what you meant by detoxing the virus out of the body, you actually meant to remove the acidic environment that the virus is living. The viruses, remember, they're not single-celled organisms. Got to realize that. People, medical doctors make you think like they're living creatures. These are proteins. And the body detoxes all these things out of the body, even single cell organisms, except the bacterium in places. It's going to keep its bacteria where it needs it. But the medium, absolutely, and in the culturing medium, some of the bacteria or viruses can go out with, with a wash, absolutely. And that's the lymph system, and that's the system that it'll end up dumping into. Blood can't carry viruses without hurting itself. Again, proteins acidify. And they're part of the acidification pro process and why they're staying at home. You know, if your body was self-detoxifying at that point where you're that healthy, you would have never had that. It would have detoxed it the next day or two, a little fever, a little pushing out, and then out it went. But when you see uh, viruses stay at home, you got lymph stagnation, big time. Which in result, it still remains in the body due to the fact that it hides well in the nerves of the spinal column. Now, they attach to cells if you're not careful. Any cell. Depends on the virus and the magnetics and all that to it. But, you know, that's life and nature. But nature, you know, de you remember, detoxification isn't my word. It's nature's word. Nature is the one that detoxify you, not we. We just put you on the diet, your, your, your food your body's designed to eat, and food that are very easy to digest and highly astringent and the most electrical and the most nutritious. Make sense? Make sense. Then we go after herbs that are specific for body parts. Make sense? Makes sense. And so God made herbs for body parts. So we have herbs for kidneys, herbs for livers, herbs for hearts, herbs for every body part there is. So that's what we use to enhance the function of 
and to accelerate the cleansing process absolutely and some herbs are just gnarly and breaking up some tumors and stuff they 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 work with hardened masses and stuff and of course we use those but it's your body that does the detoxing by you know we can control it by stopping it to detox by feeding it dead food and uh, high proteins that'll stop it from cleaning itself and healing itself right away isn't that interesting that when you eat these kind of foods you stop detoxing and stop healing what does that tell you See, that's all just evidence and proof that what, what we're talking about is true so don't get mad at detox dear that's nature you just have to get in deep enough get the kidneys and understand what true detox is when we do it to you Moreover, knowing that herpes is a protein, oh, good. If once I eat a protein-enriched food after the diet, does it come back? Not that type of protein. I mean, if you eat proteins in your diet, you have a, a, a way of accumulating proteins in the body, no question. It depends how well you move your lymph and how well everything is digested and removed that way as well. You know, it's the ash from these things that really get you. But, um... Or am I wrong? And when you remove the acidic environment that the herpes virus is thriving around on, the herpes, the virus comes out completely with it. Absolutely. And I can eat foods that have protein again. Absolutely can. Absolutely can. Absolutely. But proteins, you know, the foods in the protein, so most foods that are protein dominant are acid ash are foods. Bottom line. Because it isn't, remember we talked about this, it isn't the proteins that your body needs, it's the amino acids. So when you eat a, a complex structure of amino acids, that's a protein, your body can't use it. So now your body has to go through the whole phases of breaking down through the pep and polypeptides down to the amino acids before you can use it one little bit. Well, during that process, you have an initial acid hit and you have a lot of chemical residues coming off of the process. So look at protein metabolism. So you got all this stuff going on and you're already acidic. So it doesn't serve anybody well. Plus, most animals avoid proteins if they can. If they can. Now you got your wolves and you got all these arguments in Alaska. Agreed, agreed, agreed. But going back to the bears, go up at... Uh, uh, um, up here in uh, Tennessee at the Smoky Mountains and talk to the park rangers I have. Ask them what the diet of black bears are. I know that this issue is difficult and hard to solve. It's only hard because of the limb system, sweetheart. If your limb system isn't that bad, you're going to have a good time with this. If your limb system is really a mess, yeah, it could take you a little while. But don't lose faith in that. That's how the body gets rid of viral loads and everything else. It's not supposed to be in there. It's the only method of doing that. Wrong door. I would really appreciate what you have to say and how I can resolve my issue permanently. Thank you for the time and consideration of answering my question in advance. David. Oh, this is David. Yeah, Dave. I, you know, I, I hit this hard, my friend. Hit this hard. Well, I thought you were the female wow okay well you want to hit it hard detox yourself that's the only way and I have great stories to back that up too by the way but I also have great stories of HIV and great stories of Hep C too great stories